Most of us tend to think of insects as nothing more than pests. It's hard to imagine that these tiny and at times terrifying creatures might actually possess some form of intelligence. We'll introduce you to some insects that you might not have seen before and maybe inspire you to take a closer look at some you might be all too familiar with. Just because they don't behave like humans do doesn't mean their minds aren't working. We hate to bug you, but we wanted to remind you to hit the red subscribe button and turn on your notifications to get the latest from the richest. Bees. Researchers at Queen Mary University of London decided to submit a very baffling funding request. They wanted to give intelligence to bees. You see, some insects like fleas and ticks don't need to be smart because all they do is feed on one thing until their life ends. But bees have a lot going on inside that hive and need to learn how to feed on different flowers and perform many tasks. Their research showed that bees are not only capable of learning from their environment, but they can teach other bees as well. Considering that learning and teaching are skills that some humans struggle with, that's all the more impressive. Scientists taught bees how to manipulate yellow balls to a certain spot and rewarded them with sugar water for doing it well. Then they watched the bees teach new bees how to perform the same action. There are as many neurons in the brain of a bee as there are in a single human retina. So saying that bees utilize their 1 million neurons effectively is an understatement. Bees are able to communicate with one another through headbutting, bumping into each other and dancing, which are sadly looked down upon methods of communication for humans. Praying Mantis. Although they look like strange alien creatures, some people actually find that praying mantises make excellent pets. Owners claim that they have taught their praying mantises to do tricks such as wave on command or walk over their hands when prompted. In the wild, mantises do some strange tricks of their own, including mimicking orchids, doing a flower impression that might not impress people at parties, but it does ensure a tasty meal for this clever creature. They're so good at it that they even managed to fool Australian journalist James Hingsley when he first spotted them in Indonesia in 1879. He reported on incredible carnivorous orchids that turned out to just be talented praying mantises. To study these incredible insects, scientists decided to fit them with 3D glasses. No, really. We know that vertebrates have depth perception, but scientists wanted to see if praying mantises do as well. They popped the glasses on these mantises and made them watch a scary movie to see if they would react. And they did. Despite their tiny brains, this proved that mantises are incredible visual hunters. Crickets. You've probably heard the sound of crickets chirping, but did you know that they don't make that noise with their legs? Crickets use their wings to create their music, and each species of cricket has a distinct sound based on their wing structure. Most female crickets don't chirp, and males do so in order to attract mates, intimidate rivals, and even to brag about their luck with the ladies. But crickets communicate using more than just the sounds that we can hear. They also transmit vibrations that their fellow crickets are able to perceive. Crickets are excellent communicators and have many different forms of social behavior and grouping. One cricket might spot a predator and rather than instantly scurrying for safety, it will transmit a message that something dangerous is nearby. These crickets are capable of sending and receiving complex messages to one another, which is an impressive and clever feat. Sometimes they even transmit messages to humans inadvertently. Crickets call out more often when it's hot out, so counting chirps can tell you the approximate temperature. Moths and butterflies. Just like how we might like to forget our more awkward prepubescent days, you would think that moths and butterflies would forget about their days as caterpillars. But studies have shown that they are capable of remembering things they learned when they were just caterpillars. When you consider the nitty gritty of the process of metamorphosis, that's even more impressive. During the pupa stage, the caterpillar transforms into an entirely new creature, meaning that its old body and brain need to get broken down. Digestive fluid helps break down the old body into imaginal cells which rearrange themselves into the new moth body. Scientists taught caterpillars to dislike the scent of certain chemicals by giving them a light electrical shock. After their metamorphosis, they remembered that and avoided the scents that caused them pain when they were caterpillars. Not only is it impressive to retain your memories after turning into soup and then being reformed, but this shows that moths are capable of learning. They might be a lot more intelligent than you think when you see moths crashing into your porch light over and over again. There is also evidence that butterflies are capable of remembering specific sites and planning ways to visit nectar and pollen sources more efficiently. Dung beetle. Many creatures are capable of undertaking vast journeys, and sometimes we struggle to understand how they stay on course without the help of maps or GPS. <laughs> but scientists have discovered that dung beetles utilize astronomy in order to get around. For ages, humans have been looking to the stars to chart course, 
and these beetles are no different. Nocturnal dung beetles use the light from the Milky Way in order to orient themselves. Just because you feed on dung doesn't mean you have to have bad manners. These beetles roll their meal away from the main pile in order to give their fellow beetles some elbow room. To keep track of where they're headed, they use skylight cues such as gradients and brightness and color from the Milky Way. Scientists gathered up groups of dung beetles and brought them to a planetarium, which is something you can only get away with if you're wearing a lab coat. They tried exposing the beetles to different star systems and found that they don't rely on constellations or bright stars, but rather on the Milky Way itself. Ants For a long time, scientists didn't consider ants to be particularly intelligent. Sure, they can accomplish remarkable things as a group, but individual ants were thought to be rather dim-witted. The problem here is that past research tried to compare ant intelligence to human intelligence, and naturally ants fell rather short. But ants are able to interact with their environments in complex ways that clearly demonstrate that there's intelligence at work here. When navigating, ants utilize a variety of clues, including sun position, polarized light patterns, wind direction, step counting, and more. When you get down to it, ants put more thought into where they're going and how to get there than most humans do. They don't gather all of this information in one giant picture of the location the way humans might, either. They have different and distinct modules in which they store specific types of information. Imagine packing for a vacation and having a separate packing cube for your beach wear than for your formal wear. Ants are also capable of having a plan B in case they get lost. They use a systematic search pattern in order to be able to backtrack if they can't find their way. Cockroaches Cockroaches are notorious for being survivors, no matter how inconvenient that is to humans at times. In order to be able to adapt to inhospitable surroundings, different roaches are able to develop distinct personalities and character traits. Unlike insects like ants or termites, cockroaches don't act according to a social hierarchy, and they're free to make their own decisions. Researchers have observed that although some roaches are indeed influenced by what their peers do, others prefer to go their own way. If you turn on a bright light, you might expect all roaches to immediately scatter, but some will take their time and observe what their fellow roaches are doing before they make their own decision. In addition, cockroaches are also capable of learning how to perform simple puzzles. If you have a strong stomach, roaches, and some peanut butter, then they can be taught to point their antenna at certain things. Researchers from Japan took a lesson from famous physiologist Ivan Pavlov, who taught us about classical conditioning by training dogs to salivate when he rang a bell. It turns out that you can teach cockroaches to drool when exposed to a certain odor using the same method. Termites While termites occasionally find themselves in danger of being exterminated by humans, their main fear is dehydration. They're fragile creatures that must stay moist at all times. Those massive termite mounds are engineering marvels that are designed for optimal air circulation. Inside the mound are complex tunnels made to eliminate carbon dioxide and water and only allow in air with just the right humidity. To pull this off, termites need to use wind, solar energy, north-south positioning, and their own ingenuity. Teamwork is an important part of termite life. If a soldier termite's jaws grow too large to eat, worker termites will feed them. During one study, researchers made termites believe that they were in danger. Whereas other insects, including bees and ants, would flee in a blind panic, termites filed out in an orderly fashion according to their social hierarchy. Worker termites searched for a way out while fighters stood at the ready in case they needed to defend them. They also demonstrated altruism by helping their comrades. If one termite stumbled or fell, the rest would help it instead of simply walking over it to save themselves. Wasps Wasps are known for being more aggressive than bees, but they have their own type of intelligence, even if most people wouldn't want to get close enough to observe them. It's easy to write them off as flying stinging jerks, but they're just trying to proactively defend their kin. They can communicate with one another and share their experiences and knowledge with their fellow wasps. They build complex nests using wood pulp and leaves, which requires a lot of cooperation, skill, and intelligence. And those nests are filled with something very precious to them, their children. While humans aren't interested in giant containers filled with little wasps, predators like raccoons, skunks, and bears are eager to chow down on them. This has understandably caused the wasps to become quite paranoid, and that's why they react so harshly at any perceived threat to their safety, or that of their nest. They're capable of learning and will often show up to known picnic spots at mealtimes when they know they have a chance of nabbing something sweet. Like bees, wasps have different jobs, but they're also incredibly versatile. If one worker wasp doesn't show up for its shift, another one will cover it so the job still gets done. Dragonflies 
Dragonflies might have small brains, but they are more like us than you might think. Their brains are capable of things that other insects are not and are typically only seen in animals such as primates. <laughs> One of your many skills that you undoubtedly take for granted is your selective attention. While other animals and insects struggle to filter out usual sensory data, we can focus on the task at hand and ignore all sorts of unimportant visuals and auditory stimulus. Dragonflies can do this as well and have brain cells devoted to this ability which is unheard of in invertebrates. When dragonflies hunt for other insects, they'll frequently encounter a swarm of them. Using their superior intelligence, they're able to focus on their prey and filter out all of the other insects that they're not going to go for. Their accuracy is impressive, and they have about a 97% chance of getting their target. Scientists measured their neuronal activity during their hunts and found that their brains work similarly to the brains of primates. Since dragonflies are insects that evolved around 325 million years ago, this is impressive, to say the least. After seeing how intelligent and remarkable these insects are, maybe you'll think twice about squishing one instead of just releasing it outside. Has this video made you reevaluate your insect smashing policy? Let us know if you'll be trying to coax ants outside for now. Even if you still don't like bugs, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more. Bye bye for now, we'll see you next time.